at the end of the day, I mean, I I know I know for a long time we didn't talk with each other for a while and shit. Wow. But, but me and Trey, me and Trey, it's like through all the bullshit, like I had, man, I, I, I'm, I'm going to hustle all the way through whatever the fuck I was doing. I had a job. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to rap. Uh, I'm just not going to rob and steal. That's not my I don't fuck around like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just didn't do none of that. So like through all the whole shit, like me and Trey, that nigga would come up to my motherfucking job and we'll be outside running it. Because <laughs> every job I had, nigga, I was cool with the, with the boss or the owner. So... I pretty much did what the fuck I wanted to do with whatever job I had. You know what I'm saying? So, how, uh, how did you, how did you and Trey still talk now? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. But it didn't become like a rap group until like me, Trey, and Zero and Taz put that shit out. Yeah, it's, with our first album. How old were you when all of that uh, went like, down? Like 19, 18, and 19. Young kids. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, how Trey the youngest? Trey was the youngest. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. The impact. How, how did you? How did you get that? I mean, you know, when you first when you, how did you first know, man? We got some like when when you when, from the people, you know, taking notice. Man, honestly, when everybody was just we was just doing shows every goddamn well because we like man we was just niggas who could rap. We didn't we, we didn't know the business and none of that shit, man. Mm-hmm. We was just niggas who could rap, like most niggas be. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying and. We put that shit out. We had we had uh our homie Rock Kiss Jacobs. Shout out to Rock man. Love that nigga man. He the one who helped us develop into who we was. You know what I mean? As yeah. artists, like he the one who had us singing and doing all this. Ocean Zero was already saying because he I just, that was he do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But he had us finding finding our our sounds and shit that we good with and using that shit in our music. So that's why we able to do that shit now. So once again, shout out to Rakesh Jacobs, and, and he was making all the beats for us and shit. Zero was making beats and shit too, though. Zero make them beats. Yeah, he fuck with them beats, and he good with it. Like yeah, gonna come yeah, out yeah. there with a hit. Yeah, that nigga that he fuck with. It. He, he y'all done heard a lot of shit he done made already. That nigga been making beats like since we was young. In the room making beats, we rapping, punching holes in the wild. <laughs> what where, where was you at when they made that song? I don't need no help, my nigga. Oh, man, I can I'm, do bad on streets. my own. In the streets, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the streets doing my shit. In the streets, <laughs> in the streets doing my shit. They was doing some. Uh, they was doing the ABN shit. Yeah. And I was out in the streets just doing my own thing. That was, was that was that was before. That was after, after y'all had formed. Yeah. yeah. That was after the Gorilla Mob shit. How hard? We had Gorilla Mob, Slow Loud and Banging, and then the ABN shit. Okay. How, got it. How hard was it to keep a group together? Because you know groups don't never last. Nah, shit. That shit didn't last. I mean, you know. Cause I mean, you know. Everybody, man, you know, everybody had their own thought perceptions about shit and about what right. they think need to be done and what need to be done. But at the end of the day, nobody nobody really just knew the business of shit, man. And it's fucked up. So do you feel like if someone knew the business or all of y'all, you think you'd still be together? Probably so. Probably so. But at the end of the day, I mean, I, I, know, I know for a long time, we didn't talk with each other for a while and shit. Wow. But, but me and Trey, me and Trey, it's like through all the bullshit, like I had, man, I, 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 I'm going to hustle all the way through whatever the fuck I was doing. I had a job. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to rap. Uh, I'm just not going to rob and steal. That's not my, I don't fuck around mm-hmm. like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just didn't do none of that. So like through all the whole shit, like me and Trey, that nigga would come up to my motherfucking job and we'll be outside running it. Because <laughs> every job I had, nigga, I was cool with the, with the boss or the owner. So, I pretty much did what the fuck I wanted to do with whatever job I had. You know what I'm saying? So how how did you, how did you and Trey still talk now? Right now, um, how, cause that Trey Day thing is real big down yeah, here, man. Yeah, yeah. You know that's what. But when we was in Atlanta, they were having Trey Day, and uh, um, Cheat Nas Myron flew down. He mm-hmm. did an interview with us when he got back to Atlanta, mm-hmm. and. It's just a big thing. All the artists were either coming here or either going to that Rolling Loud, yeah. and it happened at the same time, yeah. that same weekend. So yeah, the, the last trade, this, this trade that they just passed, yeah, he had me out on stage perform one of my new songs that I got with Bun B called "So Hard." You know what I'm saying? I performed that shit. And that then so a hard. Y'all got a vi- y'all got yeah. visual to it yet? Yeah, me and Bun, me and Bun, and my bro Kid James. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.